the Sophia I had always um, intended to be a congenial personality, to have a congenial temperament, one that happily associates with a wide variety of associated equipment. Um, a loudspeaker which could be enjoyed by somebody who uh, maybe had very modest electronics and for whom the Sophia was the first foray into um, a truly high quality and rather expensive loudspeaker. And I really wanted that music lover to have an absolutely satisfying musical experience with that product. I wanted um, the Sophia to not be demanding on the associated equipment and yet still perform at an extremely high level technically so that yes you can hear all of the audiophile things with it but you can also just relax and and just be immersed in the music, you know, that, that is, is being produced or reproduced by, by the speaker. And now the Series 3, as I thought about Sophia and I thought about her personality, um, I, wanted, I wanted her to be even more communicative, but not to change her personality. I wanted that temperament to be very similar. So, um, well, how do you do that? Uh, you work with uh, proven tools and proven friends, if you will. And uh, the mid-range driver that we have had so much success with in the Sasha, you know, Sophia's bigger sister, uh, and the Max, um, this seemed to me to be a very good choice. It replaces a... Um, a mid-range driver which is quite well known and and respected in the industry but the uh, the driver that we have developed um, to replace it uh, simply outperforms it in many respects and the tweeter uh, that we use in the Max uh, and this Sasha uh, very successfully that seemed like uh, like an outstanding unit to use in the uh, in the Sophia uh, the, uh, the, the tweeter is, is much more dynamic uh, from that standpoint. Uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't stand out. It's extraordinarily well integrated with the, with the mid-range. The angle of the front mid-range tweeter baffle is different than in prior generations of the Sophia. Uh, and that, that was necessitated by two, uh, two factors. Number one, the mid-range driver, the new mid-range driver has different propagation characteristics than the earlier mid-range driver. Uh, and um, uh, so in order to align the leading edge of the impulse behavior of the mid-range driver and the tweeter, that angle had to be changed. Uh, another factor is that that angle is a function of the distance to the listener and the height of the listener's ears. And uh, over the years, uh, of course, we have many, many years of experience with uh, Sophia users. Uh, and we have a very clear understanding now of, of the, the, quote, typical uh, Sophia listening environment. And we've been able then to more uh, finely optimize the time correction parameters uh, in this, with this new angle. The woofer with its more powerful motor uh, now is, is even better in the, in the base than before. The enclosure uh, is now uh, uh, entirely on the sides and the top and the back and then the cross braces and so forth, X material. And the result is a significant reduction of, uh, of panel uh, signature. The, uh, the Series 3 is, is much faster. Uh, it's more dynamic. It has uh, dynamic contrasts are, are extremely important to me in, in recreating a sense of aliveness in the reproduced sound. And the system retains its ease of placement in the room. That was another factor that we wanted to, to retain 
uh, and that is it, it's it's ease of placement in the room and and uh, and, and it it couples with rooms uh, generally in a, a very linear and predictable fashion. And the result is, is simply a more tactile, uh, focused, effortless sound that allows you to just relax more as you're listening to the music and hear more information.